Alrighty. Um, Celtic Spirituality by Philip Freeman, an introduction to the sacred wisdom of the Celts. So, to me, um, like, it, it, like, <laughs> counterintuitive, hypocritical, or whatever, um, it's like a fairly, like, quick read, but may not feel like it. <laughs> type of book. Um, you get an introduction to the piece and then you get the primary source. So that's why my that's why my it may feel like a quick read if you like don't want to read a certain um, story or something you just um, skip over it. Um, and then you get a mix of pagan and Christian um, stories and accounts. Um, in the book, so, like, like, to me, it's not, like, like, it's, like, one right after another, and it's not, like, categorized into anything, um, like, it just may be from, like, moving, you get, but, like, you make it, like, yeah, so it just seems like the pagan sources first, and then it moves in to the Christian, um, sources. Um, so, uh, a note on the readings, the passages and stories that follow were in over the course of many centuries. The earliest were recorded by sometimes hostile Greeks and Romans observing the Celts from the outside and reading about them in Greek or Latin, but most come from Celtic authors themselves about writing their own lives and traditions in Gaulish, Latin, Irish, or Welsh. Um, so... So you get like some information um, and then you get like the story itself or like the document or whatever. Um, so like the life of St. Bridget. Um, but yeah. Um, A good read for those who do have an interest in any type of Celtic history, um, spirituality or anything, this can be a great addition because you are getting um, an introduction to the source and then you are getting the um, primary source. So it can be um, some help and an addition for you. So yeah, Celtic, Celtic spirituality, happy readings.